マスターさんをどう思っているかですかもちろんイジリアンのいじめがいのあるおもちゃです罰ゲーム<笑>ビビーチャンネルこれはいけませんですがご安心をビビーちゃんにお任せです絶対回復員カーストキューピッドクレンジャーお注射いかがですかうん、私はこのままのボーナスを持っているので、私はこのままのボーナスを持っているので、私はこのままのボーナスを持っているので、私はこのままのボーナスを持っているので、私はこのままのボーナスを持っているので、私はこのままのボーナスを持っているので、私はこのままのボーナスを持っているので、私はこのままのボーナスを持っているので、私はこのままのボーナスを持っているので、私はこのままのボーナスを持っているので、私はこのままのボーナスを持っているので、私はこのままのボーナスを持っているので、私はこのままのボーナスを持っているので、私はこのままのボーナスを持っているので、私はこのままのボーナスを持っているので、私はこのままのボーナスを持っているので、私はこのままのボーナスを持っているので、私はこのままのボーナスを Again, we'll use some of our classes that、uh, get less play. Honestly, like, you could, you, you two can probably do pretty good just to be meat shields for,、uh, for you. So, this should be good. We'll see. I also have、uh, put out a thing asking for AMA questions. So, because we have like a hundred floors to go through. Uh, I'll be waiting on some, some questions,、um, which I will be answering when we're not in either story or, well, the back alley quest here, which might actually be difficult. What is extra, extra, what, what? After one turn, ooh, interesting. Okay. Huh. Well, Uh, let's go with. You know what? Yeah, I don't want to get the thing just yet, but I do want to get this on you. So that I can go. Hopefully, you know what? We'll try and kill. Yeah, we'll try and kill you here. We should be able to. Ooh. Okay, there we go. Okay. Alright. Extra soy gruel. Oh, because they're all the Kekions, right. That's fine. Okay, so you got big ups. So, let's, uh, well, we got a big combo with you, so that's pretty good. Let's decrease your stuff there to even it out. And let's go one, two, three. That's the wrong one. That's fine. Ooh, that was still good damage. Nice. That's not locked. That is. Thank you. Alright, l we'll kill this dude. Oh, reverse buff. Interesting. Okay.、Uh, let's go one, two, three. We're gonna try and get meter with Salieri there. God, your animations are so good. Okay. So. We got the three here. Let's just maybe blow them all up. All at once. Right? Um, yeah, let's give that a shot. And just if we have more, then we can pop that. I don't think we will, but we'll see, we'll see. Okay. Good. How much do we gain back? A lot. Very nice. Good. Okay, yeah, this this will be good. Even if they kill Salieri or Mango. Let's see. Boy, rip to Salieri in particular. Alright, so let's just go. 
One, two, three, gain a bunch of stars. There we go, and then you can do your stuff there. Very nice. Okay, okay. Here we go. Final opponent is gonna be a Kekian monster. Big spending giant. Okay. Extra, extra harvest. Or, sorry, I keep saying harvest, but it's Everest. It's very not what it is. Um, okay, so we don't need to worry about that. I'm, I'm going to try and get as much meter as possible, because that will be very important. Right. Okay. All right. So if Mango gets his meter, we will... We can try and pop it. Well, here we go. Okay, because they will attack him. Undoubtedly. Undoubtedly, they're going to attack him. Uh, so, let's go with... Um, some of those. Now, if I do this, apply guts, we're going to apply guts, yes. So, we'll give that a shot. And we're going to go one... Or let's... Ooh. Or... Hmm, should we hold on to that for a turn? No, he'll probably die. So yeah, let's go one, two. Because then we'll get more gain back. Yes, we'll do this. Okay. All right. Come on, guys. You better hit him. Come on, you better hit him. Better hit the weird... Oh, I forgot that he gets a little heal, too. Better hit him. Okay, and get some gain. Alright, now hit him. Come on, no, hit him. Hit him. Hit him. Come on, hit him. Yes. Good. Hit him. Yes. Good. That's gonna be decent. That was super decent, actually. Like, that was fine. I mean, it's not the best, but it was fine. All right. Let's go one, two, three. I didn't kill. All right. And this will end it here in just a sec. Oh, the knight's still going though, right? So he's still going to die in like a turn. Uh, let's, you know what, let's be silly. Let's see how much his green will do here. Ooh, yeah, that's not bad at all. Wow, okay, that does increase his damage quite a bit. Okay. Okay, okay. All right. Cool, cool, cool. I should be looking at the enemy names. That's something that is uh, I've been I've been informed in my group chat. Hey, there's some funny enemy names, so we'll 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 see, we'll see. All right, a shop aggressive in baiting customers. What are they doing? How are they baiting? Uh, we'll grab ourselves Ellie, and then after that we can go with just pretty much some of the uh, the weak riders. Where are they? Because Ellie should be able to handle most of it. It's a good thing I pretty much have maxed out, like, almost every servant I'll need. Um, now, I could if I want. I have two of those, so I could use two four stars. But I'm, I'm, trying, to, I'm trying to keep it. Trying to keep it all in. All right, so let's see here. Uh, I only have currently one question. Favorite upcoming servant? Mine is... Bauban Shith. I have no freaking clue how to say that name. Um, nor do I know anything about her. And of course, Archetype Earth. Yeah, of course. Like that's when we're talking about a favorite upcoming servants. For me, it's like it's all the ones that are super basic that you would expect. Um, like, yeah, Arquid is massive. I need her. Um, but then other than that, we have like. Um, well, like any of the ones that are ones that I've always wanted in. So thinking about, um, let's see here. Uh, Morgan, right? Um, any of the ones that were previously, like, I really want them in. I mean, Bazit, right? Um, uh, 
uh, Rasputin. Like, all, all the ones that you'd be like, yeah, of course you want that one. Because of course I do. It's simple as that. Um, let's go. You know, let's do a full combo here. Good stuff. We'll see. I just, I just, I thought of it before recording, so it's not like there's a lot of time. That's the only question, really, right now. Uh, considering we'll be here for a while, we might get more. Um, so I'll just hold off on that. Let's go. One, two, three. Do some of that. Do some of that. If I get them, I'll answer them. And if not, I won't. It's as simple as that. Uh, let's go. One, two, three. Just do as much as you can. Have we done a full Mecha Ellie red combo? Is she going to do five or a bunch of different attacks? Yeah, there you go. Nice. I'm excited to be able to get the other Mecha Ellie too by uh, the redo event coming up. The full, the full Halloween event, which I is amazing and they should do for Christmas too because I miss most of the Christmas ones. They should also do it for collaborations because they miss Shiki. They should do it for all of them. It should be a thing for all of them. Should be forever a thing in the game, please. I mean, it's nice that I, I was looking at some of the recent um, main interludes, and I'm like, oh, good. All the actual story important ones are coming back as main interludes, because I was like, man, that's kind of stinky that it's not, but I kind of want everything as a main interlude, you know? A shooting game cabinet. Okay. So we have here... Uh, let's see. We'll grab ourselves a... Yeah, again, we'll use a Berserker. Actually, what I should do is, before I do that, I'm gonna go back, and I should actually... go to the shop. And take you out, because you're done. And I'm gonna put... Honestly, Voyager needs it more. Because he is a boy that I can use quite a bit. Um, you're still going, we're getting the hot springs, the hot strings, cut strings, whatever, man. Here we go. So, let's go with, ba -ba 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 -ba. yeah, we'll go with a single berserker to start. Except I won't put that on him, but that's fine. Um, we'll go with, let's see. I'll go with this, but then I'm going to switch these around. And then we'll go... I've not really used that no, like, at all. Um, so that'll be good to use. And I will use... I mean, honestly, at this point I could use it. I, I, I want a little bit more power. So, you know what? Let's go with... Uh... Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's give this a shot. See who we got. Let's see, let's see. So I got another question. How are you? Thanks, Beat. I'm doing pretty good. I'm a little hungover. You might have heard me last part being possibly slightly inebriated, which is, that's fair. It's, uh, it's just, it is what it is. Um, and uh, no, but I'm doing a lot better now. So that's good. Um, I have a coffee. I'm enjoying my morning coffee. I love my morning coffee. I need my morning coffee. That hurt a lot. Wow. My man, you need to heal up. Get that. And we'll also pop that, because why not? Well, because then we can go one, two, three on you. There you go. Wow, you did not do that much. Claw sharpening. But yeah, otherwise, no, I'm doing pretty good this morning. I've had better mornings, but I've had worse mornings. Um... Can you, can you, how much do you take? A little bit. That's not going to work on them. There's like no way. This is for yourself, right? Yeah. Wait, remove buffs? Wow. That's terrible. Why? Um, let's go with some of this. Why would you remove your own buffs? Dang, her new animations are really good, too. Rip. That's fine. <laughs> he did say Subarashi. Why would you Why would you say that, bro? You're dying. Um, try and get as much meter as possible here. I wonder if we're going to get the Strange Fate Assassin 
in uh in this eventually because it would be cool because it's like actually another Hassan but a different one High chance to inflict death and charm and remove buffs. So this won't even work on them, huh? Let's see here. Cool. Let's see. Let's see. I don't think this will even work on you. Let's see. Oh, Well, it gave defense down, I guess. Oh, well, that killed, though. This is gonna kill, at least. I mean, that's a... That's an interesting idea for a super. But dang, how is your lower-level sister even better? For Noble Phantasm, at least. That's a bit strange, if you think about it. Why would I do that? Why would I do that? Thank you for making that all for naught. I completely forgot about the incredibly stupid thing of it being like, oh yeah, by the way, it doesn't actually remove your buffs. What a K. I, they need to update it to either give her debuff immune or to remove that because that's ridiculous. Like, that's, that's so silly. Why would they make it like that? It's such an early servant thing. And it's not even like they're a bad servant. They're meant to be pretty good, right? So, like, that's weird. All right, we got sabers. If there's any class that I do not need to worry about using, you know, it's it's, it's the saber. So we can use a four-star saber. So let's go, let's honestly, let's go with a uh, filter. I'm just going to focus on, can I not filter them by, yeah, let's go by, uh, cost. Okay. So let's see here. So we can get... Okay. So now for four star, yeah, we'll use you. And then we need a three star saber or less. Let's go with the... Uh... Let's see. Sure. Jason! All right. Cool, cool. Easy enough to do. Yeah, if there's any class I'm not worried too much about. I mean, I'm not worried about this because I have so many servants. Like, I can probably go through most of this without needing to worry about things. I record for an hour and it all comes out good. They're hooked on Toku! And he likes anime song. But Toku is pretty good. Toku's, Toku's fun. Don't know a single person who wouldn't be like, Yo, I love Toku. <laughs> All right, let's do some of this. Thanks, Kiryu. All right. Now let's go. Let's see. We got uh, no full combo, but need some stars and get the red. Why not? And we'll go. One, two, three. All right. Give her some meter. It is really funny that they gave Saber Lily improved animations, despite the fact that, like, really, if you're thinking of, like, forgettable servants, she's kind of up there. I mean, I guess the nice thing is she is now, like, a, hey, do you want Saber? You don't have to spend money. You can get her through... Uh, you know, the friend point gotcha. So at least there's, you know, she's a discount saver. And I like that idea. I know that there's one other uh, four-star servant who goes into the friend point summon at a certain time. And so uh, I'm, I'm hoping, you know, to get extra copies of them that way. Um, so I'll be, I'll be looking forward to that. Oh, we have a new question. Favorite food you've eaten in China so far? Man! It's so tough to say because the food here is legitimately too good for words. Like, it's all so good. It's just one of those things where, you know, you hear about food on the other side of the world being better. And, like, it kind of is. I have to say my favorite food, though, like, in general, in terms of what I eat kind of all the time, it's got to be hot pot. Like, I cannot... 
I cannot stress enough, I do not understand how hot pot is not the most popular thing in the United States. Because it's like a buffet, but it's a buffet that's even better than a buffet. Because you, the food just comes on a little tray right up to you. That's pretty fun. And after it comes to you, you just like, you put it in your pot, you boil it as much as you want. And then after that, you get to eat your whatever you put in the pot. And it's so simple, but it's so effective. It's just one of those things where I don't understand why it isn't the most popular thing ever. Like, I... Is it the xenophobia? I don't know. I just think that it would be, you know, because I've, I've been to buffets and stuff, and I always felt they're, like, unclean and not the best. Um, and kind of the food is whatever. But when it's just, like, the raw ingredients coming to you, you just get to throw them in a pot and eat them, and it's so nice. Oh, we got two here. Um, yeah, it's, it's so nice compared to, like, you know, I, I guess the buffets where they don't have to be. My only thought is they're worried that, you know, people will not necessarily cook the food enough, resulting in it, uh, you know, resulting in them in, you know, getting sick or something if they don't cook the raw meat enough, and then they can sue the store, because that is the thing that could happen. Um, but, like, it's just wild. It, it should be so much more popular. It should be. This guy's called Exploded and Died. Rip. Rip to him. Uh, but no, it's it's really good. It's it's just really, really good. Um, I don't go for it all the time, right? Like, it's just so nice to just grab and go. Alright, this should be enough to get her super here, which will be good for... Her. Yeah, there we go, the next time. Okay, so. What do we got? Buying prepaid cards. Man with epic luck. Oh, these are gotcha players, I see. I understand. All right, we're gonna do the Mystic Eyes. We're gonna do this. It's not enough to get your super. I like his little wiggles. His wiggles are cute. Let's go. Cause this'll kill that for sure. And then that'll kill you. And then we'll just do this for the most damage at the end there. Okay. Um, yeah. If you, and honestly, I would recommend if you live, and I'm going to keep talking because this is going to be the long version considering it's the first time we've seen it in her waitress uniform. What I would recommend is if you live in the United States or anywhere in the world and just take a look to see if there, this is such a cool super though still. It's so good. I have to keep talking though to avoid the super copyrighted music. Um, I do recommend taking a look to see if there's a hot pot place near you and give it a try. It's strange at first, right? Um, because it's it's a whole different way to eat. Uh, but if you can go with people or even go alone, it's lovely. Um, so give it a look. It's one of those things that I hope explodes in popularity, like bubble tea, right? Like bubble tea exploded in popularity, and I really hope that hot pot does too. It should. I don't get why it wouldn't. It's such a perfect idea. And even if it's not a rotating belt restaurant, but it's one where you just order the food, even still, like, it's so good. God, I love Hot Pot. I could talk about it forever. Okay. So. A living statue. We got actual plot this time, it looks like. At least there's plot every now and then. Okay. Yo! Yo, this place looks rad. Why is Akuma up there? Actually, who is that? Who is that meant to be? Because that's a Svadamin. Is that meant to be Shiva? Interesting. We got the replica sword. Got the gun soft back there. Yeah, this looks like this looks like Akihabara. Please tell me that says unlimited model works, please. Please. For her. A hobby shop. It's a little more elegant in here than I'd imagined. But the important thing is, they've got the goods I want. So, the Kam Kadomo gloves are coming. <laughs> the kitty gloves. I'm gonna search every nook and cranny of the store for what I want. I'm not even gonna look at the price tags. That's 
a bad idea. That almost led me to... I went to an anime convention once, and I was like, I'm going to buy all the Fate DVDs that I don't have. And I brought them all up to the front. And they're like, that will be $800. And I'm like, what the frick? Turns out those Blu-ray box sets are pretty expensive. In the end, I bought them all. But just over time, using money from my videos. Also, why the flair de lis up there? Ms. Games back there. Oh, man. They really do have a ton of great stuff here. I don't know what to look at first. Plastic models, dolls, games, toys. They have everything here. Yeah, all hobbies. Exactly. And this is still just a general purpose variety store. Just imagine what we might find at a specialty store. Hacky Harris turning out to be everything I dreamed of and then some. Huh. She's staring at those superhero figurines really intently. I see you are quite taken with those. Does this mean the modern world's models interest even a statue from the very age of gods like yourself? They do. We may come from different time periods, but the act of creating three-dimensional art by hand remains unchanged. I find both the method of these models' construction and their underlying concepts fascinating. These dolls' bodies seem to pulse with energy, almost as if they were flesh and blood. I can feel their determination to defeat the air their enemies. They must have been made as offerings to Ares or Athena. I don't think that was the intent, no. I am also tremendously impressed at how this maker was able to make so many identical copies. Whoever this person is, they deserve the highest praise. Do we tell her about factories? Um, that praise is probably better to direct at the industrial methods. Edison helped pioneer rather than the individual maker. Though I guess it is true that a skilled modeler had to make the original in the first place. It is cool that you will, you can read. Like whenever they announce a new like Fate figure or like any real like Nendoroid or Figma, they will say, yes, it's a Figma. Yes, it's an Android. But they will actually say who the actual modeler is, like who makes the original. And I think that's really cool. I think more products should be more like, yeah, this was designed by someone. Even in the modern world, there are people creating magnificent works of art. Even I, an ancient sculpture, red, human, can sense its sheer quality. It's a very strange sensation, but not an unpleasant one. Hello, <laughs> that is the entire purpose of art. Good things are good, regardless of times or forms, indeed. It, uh, or assumed, indeed, I feel the same about today's pop music. Okay, let's see what we've got here. Huh? I just heard it too. What's going on over there? All right, folks, today's your last chance to sign up for our model building contest. Don't worry, latecomers are still welcome to join, and you're free to make any model you'd like. Plastic models, trash sculptures, dolls, marionettes, any three-dimensional forms are okay as long as you're proud of them. And what's more, today's judging will be conducted live and in person. Oh, looks like the top prize winners get a bunch of special points. Ho oh, ho, then we cannot pass up this chance. We must collect enough points to become a high-level wishman as soon as possible, after all. Now, how can we go about winning this event? So the store's holding a contest to see who can make the finest model, then I'll do my best to win it. I've only received rudimentary sculpting lessons from my beloved king, but he is still one of the greatest sculptors of all time. S since I can't help with the shopping, I would like to contribute where uh, my strengths are of use. Yeah, that'd be great. Thanks, sir. Go ahead. Now... What should we use for a motif? Well, it's gotta be something so guy enough to win the contest. Maybe there's one kind of model in particular the judge has a fondness for. Maybe one with giant boobies. Let me help. Where do you come from, Adi? I overheard your conversation, and I would like to offer you this item I purchased here earlier today. <laughs> it reminded me so much of my Trojan horse that I couldn't help but be taken by it. A plastic model robot? I mean, it's Kakyoi and all, but uh, how's it gonna help us? I took a look at the other entries in the contest, and most of them were plastic model robots of this nature. So I suspect this sort of thing may be what most appeals to this particular judge. I see. Well, if that isn't what an expert tactician like yourself thinks, then we should do well to heed your advice. So this is a plastic model. I was actually wondering about these. It is fascinating how there are many modest parts combined to form one cohesive whole. Hey, if you've never made a model kit, do it. It's therapeutic. If such a model would help us in a contest, I would like to try my hand at one. Would you mind if I... Not at all, please. You're welcome to use it as you like. Thank you. That said, I've never made a plastic model before, so I'd like to have some materials I'm more familiar with on hand, too. Well, it looks like you can get some sample clay for free over in the Arts and Crafts Corner. Though they don't give you very much. Perfect. 
I won't need much clay, but so that sample amount should suffice. All right, let's get to work. Oh, that's her. Yeah, the baggy thing. Like that's her other ascension. Nani, what's with that baggy new outfit? These are my work clothes. You need to be careful when sculpting with blades, after all. Over only thirty minutes to go until contest submission is close. Those of you who wanted to submit, uh, haven't submitted your entry may uh, yet. May want to hurry up. Oh, did you hear that? We've only got thirty minutes. That should be enough. All right, everyone, please stand back. I'm going to use my chisel. This is silly. This is silly. I've been told that there are 200 floors, actually. All right. That's fine. Although the only the first hundred have stories, so I might not do the second hundred on camera. Just because that'd be hella boring. And I know people might be like, ah, oh, but the content. We'll see. First plastic model. Cool. That did nothing. Um, strength up, strength up. Okay, let's go. Let's just start with doing as much damage as possible. So yeah, that's like her weird little thing. Increase defense. Yeah, that'll be good too. And restore allies and remove... I'm gonna keep that off for this turn. So let's just, just start with doing as much damage as we can to break you. It's kind of a weird... Kind of a weird design, but I actually prefer it in motion. Because I saw that in, not in motion, but in, um, like, just art form, and I was like, I don't really know what's going on. But now I see it. That's not bad. I kind of appreciate it. Ooh. Let's see if we can get your, your meter, though. We just need to get to 80. And not, not kill. Good. Okay, we can, we can pop it. Good. Let's see here. Watch him, like, just blow himself up. Alright, let's see your super. What do we got? Because it is a single target attack. Pygmalion chisel out. What was that noise? What does that mean? Alright, let's see. What do you do? I'm assuming it's some high frequency blade stuff. Okay! Final ascension. It's kind of studio trigger, kind of anime. It's not bad. I don't think it's enough that I need to actually, you know, get it. I didn't see if that was unlimited works there. I should have looked, but we'll look then. Oh my god, it's the Henshin belt. Um, I actually have my Kamen Rider uh, Geet's belt right there. I love it. I don't think I'll summon her, but... Wow, she's a huge chisel to take out each of the runners simultaneously, and the edges are perfectly smooth. Wow, she's putting together at light speed, too. You can see it coming together right before your eyes. There. Oh, I see. How's this? Hmm? I thought she'd finished it, but now she's cutting off more parts. Is that okay? You're putting your own personal spin on it? You're customizing your gunpla? Wait, that actually fits the source material great. How, 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 how did you get... How, how, how did you know to do that when you've never seen the series? This is what the model wanted. Magi, really? Wow, you're like a plastic model whisper or something. I should take care of the model. Now for the clay. She's molding the clay into a new shape. Oh, what an adorable little bird. It's so lifelike, I can almost hear it chirping. This does bring back memories. Uh, that's why her super ends with birds. I used to practice my sculpting skills by making birds all the time. That's great, but we're almost out of time. Come on, let's hurry. So she made a robot with birds for scale? All right, it's time for the final entry. Let's see what our judge thinks of the incredibly plainly named robot and bird. Uh-huh. What the? This model, it's... It's moving? The flourishes she made to the robot uh, were perfect enough on their own, but she outfitted it with moving parts too? That's the most hardcore modeling I've ever seen. It's not like it's moving aimlessly. I think it's actually telling a story. A battle-weary military robot meets a small bird in the woods and they have a brief but heartfelt moment before going their separate ways. 
Just look at the way the birds pose on the robot's shoulder. You can practically feel the drama. Oh, I can almost see the credits rolling and hear the touching musical score. It's making me tear up. You there, what kind of mechanism did you use for this? Mechanism? What else? Love. <laughs> so deep. It's so simple, but so deep. Right, of course, you can never make something as masterful as this without real love. We have a winner! No, but really, how's it moving? You did it, Gal- She's gonna be the king of figures. That's gonna be the twist. Also, she has doll joints. Very good. I mean, that was super impressive, but I still want to know how I got to move like that. King Pygmalion once gave me life by sculpting me with incredible love. The fact is, love can breathe life into anything, even inorganic matter. All I needed was uh, to make those models were the techniques King Pygmalion taught me, and this chisel imbued with the power of the gods. I see. That, um, sounds like a in really incredible ability. Not at all. It ultimately comes down to the same power of love everyone possesses. As long as you have love in your heart, any of you can do the same thing. Majoriously? 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 Majoriously. I love that word. I wonder if that means the Machan figure I've been making in secret is going to start moving on its own then. He can climb on my boobies like they're a mountain. I'll be like, hi there, little guy. Are you enjoying this? Do you want to fall asleep on my womb? Wouldn't that be hilarious? A master falling asleep on a giant servant's womb? What the frick was Phoenix Stella on? Oh yes, dolls, statues, and other inanimate objects can come to life, uh, come to possess life as long as you truly love them. Is this going to come back around for Okita Altar? Because I know about that. That's what happened to me, after all. Oh, Dodge, just taking our situation and applying it to everything, Berserker style. That said, what I've done here is just a facsimile. I suspect it's very close to what you call familiars. I can't give life to anything sizable, and nothing I bring to life can speak or think for itself, never mind. Small creatures like this bird are the best I can do. I see. Which gets back to why are you, why you are doing this, does it not? Yes, my skills are no match for my king, so this is all I can do with them. The only one capable of giving life to all the many dolls walking around Akihabara. Dolls that seem to think and act on their own, as well as experience emotion, is King Pygmalion. I'm certain that only his boundless love and God-recognized talent could have accomplished something like this. At least, that is what I think. Uh, so that's why you guessed he's the king of figures. Huh. Makes sense to me. Okay, then let's keep buying all the things that we can meet with the king of figures as Imasugo as possible. Oh, by the way, how come the modeling clay bird you made aren't moving anymore? Because I made them in a hurry. Sadly, it seems their lives were fleeting. Uh, now what should I do with them? If I had a workshop here, I would leave them there. Actually, would it be alright if I added the plastic model to my collection? Odysseus being a plastic model collector... is perfect! It looks even better than it does in the box. Yes, of course. Then these materials belong to you anyway. That just leaves the bird. Well, if you don't mind, may I have it? Are you sure? It really is just an ordinary bird. I don't believe it has any artistic value. It's not ordinary at all. I think it's really cute. As for value, well, I feel like the, it's a physical representation of everything that happened today. It'll be a memento of how we met. I see. Thank you. I disagree with your appraisal of its value, but I'm glad you're willing to give it a good home. There. I wonder if Voyager will like it too. We'll have to show it to him sometime. At any rate, we now have a great deal more points than we did before. Well done, Galatea. Now let us keep this up until we are all high-level wishmen. It's kind of weird how between the last event and like this one, it feels like the the um uh Voyager and Arise there have become like main characters. Like it feels like it. They keep getting used a lot, which is great, by the way. Let's see here. All right, more story. Meanwhile. Yeah, oh, they got takoyaki here. Let's grab some takoyaki, Paisen. For real? Didn't we just get those crepes like five minutes ago? That doesn't count. Everyone knows there's always room for dessert, even if you just had some. I don't think it works that way, but fine, whatevs. 
man, this place is great. It's even livelier here than it is at Kiyomizudera on Festival Day. And these anime songs are blasting the loudspeakers aren't half bad either. Plus, it's been real fun changing pace walking around while we pig out with our new gal pals. Oh my god, she joined the gal pals. Interesting. Uh, are you sure you want to eat that in one bite? My serpentine infrared sensing pit organs are telling me these are really, really hot. You're part of the gal pals too. Yeah, I wouldn't have taken you for it, but all right. Huh? Said while pooping a takoyaki into her mouth. You're right, it's scalding. <laughs> Here, have some water. I don't know what voice to give her, really. Oh, thanks. I was not expecting these to be so hot in here. I thought I was used to all the heat from the piping out rice I used to have in Yamatai Koku. Man, the future's amazing. Why are you with the girls? This is strange. Takoyaki are good civilization, but eating them in one bite is bad civilization that must be destroyed. Speaking of sleeping on wombs. Whoa, you cut them all in half, even the octopus inside. Here, let me thank you by giving you a bite. Say, ah. Uh, but you know, there's some real nice civilization about, you know, chowing down on takoyaki when it's burning hot, too. It's a tough call. Yes, it is. It can be very difficult to tell good civilization apart bad. I am still not sure where I come down in Akihabara. <sighs> Takoyaki's delicious and all, but it's always like a real pain to check your teeth for seaweed flakes after. Say, how come Marasaki isn't here? Didn't you invite her? Karochi? Well, of course I did. I even told her it'd be the perfect place to show off her new spirit origin with a sailor uniform. But... I couldn't possibly. I am, didn't intend for this outfit to be cosplay, but I know that's how many others perceive it. Because apparently, the creator of, uh, you know, Raita is a massive fan of Katawa Shoujo. It's a very strange pull. And in Akihabara, with the exception of special events, cosplay is prohibited. Well, I can understand that you may not be aware of that, since many people under today are under the impression that Akihabara is still a cosplay-friendly town that is neither here nor there. And speaking about the master servant is actually be heard as a conduct with the elegance and dignity at all times, not to mention that I have no place to partake in such events, so please go enjoy yourselves, don't worry, but I had to race for that one. Or something like that. Huh. I'm like, what about my outfit? Does that count as cosplay? Ha, <laughs> hey, I tried, but when Kaorichi gets in one of her serious moods, hang it up, show's over. Although, who knows, maybe she haven't found her way here in the end? Uh, behind, behind her assured smile, Nagiko knew for certain that no one who loves stories as much as Karochi could possibly stay away from a place like this. Huh? Oh right, I forgot about her skill of commentary. Oh gosh, oh gosh, I can't believe we ended up in the same crowd. And just when my Taizen commentary fest happened to slip out for the first time, literally they're talking about how the commentary thing has completely been lost as a gimmick. Like, we haven't seen it. Everything okay? Nah, it just occurred to me it might be hard to buy certain kind of books when you're with friends after all. Oh, porn! Anyway, as long as everyone's having fun, that's all that matters. So, let's make the most of this trip, yeah? Well, there's a gorilla on that curry restaurant sign. Is that their cook or something? You know, for someone who's, like, known for their writing and stuff, it seems like you care way more about food. Yo. Food is life, though. Let's be real here. Actually, one of the well, really good restaurants I had, which has now been shut down oh, in Akihabara, was the Meat Tower. I've told the story. Hold up. Hold up. Actually, for real. Are we? If this is a tower at the end of Main Street, are we in the Meat Tower? Is that what it's meant to be? I wonder. Because it's like the closest thing. And it was on the 10th floor where I had the uh, the amazing Wagyu beef. I wonder. Hmm. Might be. Hobby Shop has been added to break time. That's got to be for the boys. Hobby Shop for the boys. Let's see here. Who gets the bonus? Uh, oh no! Who's not compatible? Only a couple aren't compatible, and I can't really tell what makes them not compatible. Okay. Let's go with, uh... We will throw in... Uh, 
sure. Alright. Get you all healing up. Cool, cool. Still wanna, what does this do? Can we actually check? Uh, ooh, this big bond up. That'll be good too. Um, 15 C stars, crit strength. Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad. It's actually, these could be really good for getting some bond. Okay. A figurine prize specialty shop. So these are. Again, ones we can kind of do with whomever. Um, let's go with... I don't think we have any four stars here we can really use. So let's just go with... Let's see here. Um, uh, sure. Yeah, that'll be useful. And then we can go with uh, whoever we want for these ones. Let's go with... Just trying to think of ones who won't get as much use. Sure. And... Uh, Let's see. Sure. Getting a phone call. I don't speak Chinese, so I can't take a phone call. Who calling me and why? One of my favorite features of living here is my phone has a thing that I can just say, I don't speak Chinese, please don't call me. So we'll see if I get a message back. If, uh... Why am I getting phone calls? Who's calling me? I literally don't speak Chinese. Okay, I'm going to answer this then. Once, oh, well, no, never mind. They, they hung up on me. They keep calling me. Let's see. Uh, let's go. One, two, three. That's a pretty easy battle. Yeah, all just model works. It's not unlimited model works. We also got the Harrier Jet. We got... Who's on the... Who's the common Rider? I don't know who that is. The bike's cool, though. Can't even tell what that is, either. God, I want to just zoom around this background. I really do. Let's go one, two... Or, no, let's go one, two... Actually, let's go with this. Right, we'll go one, two, three. Okay. Alright. Let's go. You're actually hurting quite a bit. Pop that on you just to survive. Alright, do some that. It's funny, I've been playing um Warriors Orochi, and I'll like, you know, there's a lot of characters in that where I'm like, oh yo, there's the you know the fate servant, they're playable. And then I see Mori Nagiyoshi, and he's like just a generic NPC, and I'm like, dang, dude doesn't get the you know, he doesn't get the benefit of being playable. He's just a generic troop. I think uh, Nobukatsu also has that, but that makes sense, I feel. Because the real Nobukatsu wasn't even like the Nobukatsu that's in Fate. So, that's fair. Alright, this should finish things off. Okay. Good stuff. Okay. I do want to get that bond up. Though it will make me worse. Which isn't great. We'll see. Seems like a hero show. Yes, I've never seen a Toko show in post person. I want to see it. I love Toku. Toku's awesome. So let's go with. Let's see here. Riders. So I'll go with you. Four star rider. We'll go with. Uh... I mean, I just got you guys increased, so why not? And another. Right. Ah, remember when we used Medusa, like, a lot? She's still pretty good, I feel. So we'll just have to see. We'll have to see. Okay. I hope they are, like, proper Toku enemies. Yeah, local hero evil monsters. There you go. That's meant to be the, the, the Toku? He's kind of a big lad. 
He's kind of be dying. You gotta be dying in there, you know? Okay. I like the casters are, like, just so generic. Like, that could be anyone. And yet, when you think about it, that is such a necessary sort of archetype for, um, like, you know, a game in the Nasuverse. Just weird freaking mages in cloaks. All right. Let's just do some of this. I am excited for them to add in the glasses alt for Medusa. Because honestly, while I do like my rotating costumes, that one I might have to lock in. Because, uh, based? Anyone who, like, doesn't think glasses just improve every character, you're wrong. They literally makes them so much better. Let's go, one, two, three. Okay. Alright. Cool, cool. Alright. Oh, new question. Favorite FGO original servant? I have to say, it's probably Osaka Bihime. Like, if I'm being real, and she's not... 100% original, because she was referenced in, I think, extra pretty early on in Tamamo's route there, right? Um, but despite that, she's just funny. I just, she'll say stuff and it makes me laugh, and it's like, that's all I really need? Like, and I mean, she's like, just a fun character. Every time she's on screen, it's fun. Like, I'm constantly just, like, waiting. When's the next time we're gonna see her? There's a reason why you know, like, most of the servants, I only get art if they're, like, a major part of one of the stories. There's a reason I just got art of Osaka Bihime. Because I feel like she's so much more than just... She's so much more than just being a, you know, random servant. Every time she's in, I'm just like, hello, I love you. She's fun! And apparently, she's in the, um, because they, they, they are just now making a manga for uh, Unlimited Blade Works, right? And uh, one of the bonus chapters that's included is What If Rin Summoned Osaka Bihime, which is great because, yeah, also, hi, actual snakes. Interesting. This is our first time battling actual snakes. I'm just realizing. Cool. Um... It's like, it's, they, they know she's fun. And I, yeah, one of the best by far. Also, a favorite main story singularity and lost belt. Uh, favorite, okay, so, so part one story has to be, it's Babylonia. Babylonia is incredible. I liked Camelot, but I felt like it was a little, um, how can I put this? It was good, but it was also very, like, the, the location where it was, I found, was a little boring, right? It wasn't an interesting locale. It was just big desert, right? And I feel like that's where I'm like, yeah, I prefer it to be an actual, um, you know, interesting place. Right? Um, so that's why I, I, I prefer uh, Babylonia. So, uh, Epic of Remnant. I loved Salem. I don't get why people don't like Salem. Maybe if, if you're thinking about in terms of... How can I put this? If you're someone who only cares about the actual story being like going places and doing stuff, yeah, they stay in one location, but it is a well... Like, it is a fine-tuned story. And I find that so much more interesting than... Um, I just find that so much more interesting than, you know the other epic of remnants. I mean, Shimosa was okay. Like, Shimosa was pretty good, but I really liked Salem. Salem made me realize, oh my god, I just want to see these characters put into situations. I don't like the idea of used magazines. That's that's kind of gross. Um, yeah, that's kind of where I'm at for that. As for Lost Belts, honestly, all the Lost Belts have been really good. 
I don't even know if I could rate them better or worse than each other. They've all just been really good. Uh, I, th I mean, just by virtue of what it kind of goes to, Olympus was really good. Olympus was really good. But, like, all of them have just been... And, and I think for me, I think the problem is I don't actually see the Lost Belts as different stories. The Lost Belts, in my eyes, kind of just come together as one continuing narrative. It doesn't feel like separate chapters. It feels like it's okay. Here's some more. Like, we're just continuing on. It's great. I love it. Hey, say era, show a era. That's pretty good. Learning, like, you, you, you learn the eras very quickly if you're into Common Rider. It is just what it is. I like the rarities are different, too. That's funny. That's not bad. Um, let's just gain meter here. I can't tell what some of these are. Like, I don't know who that is, and I don't know who that is. Um, let's see. I don't really got anything. Let's pop a charisma. We can do a combo with you. Excess HP. I forgot that it only works at, like, half HP. Right, does that one kill him in a turn or something? Yeah. That's not good. We won't use that. Forgot about that. Um, let's just go one, two, three. I love Man Ricardo. What a bro. What a man. He's just fun. Ah, oh, I didn't get enough. Uh, let's go one, two, three. Question. What will you be doing when God descends upon this earth with all his wrath raining down upon us? Die. It's fine by me. If, if that's how it be, that's how it be, you know? So let's go... Kill, attack, attack. Okay. Probably a bad idea to use him because he gets a debuff, but oh well. If, it, hey, if the world ends, it ends. That's where I'm at on that. Alright, so we got that. And... I love them. It's so simple, but every time they have a servant whose attacks are just... I'm a pirate! Here's a bunch of ships! Or, you know, not even pirate, but just anything involving, like, ships and stuff. It's always great. It's just so simple, but so effective. All right, where are we off to now? Uh, plushies on sale. Plushies. Is that a Fate Stay Night reference, my dude? Grab Serenity. We'll grab... Uh, where's the uppies? Sure, and then we'll grab for our four star. I'm using all my low, low rarity ones here. Um, sure, yeah, let's go. Remember when they said the assassin class can only be Hassan's? <laughs> Again, though, that is specifically just a Fuyuki Grail system thing. But I really feel like they wrote themselves in a corner with that and then were like, okay, no, we actually need to We actually need to come up with new ones. Oh, this is this is one with the boss, so we'll, we'll get meter here. Yeah, he can do it. He gets hurt a lot, but he can do it. And doesn't it full heal when you do the thing? I think it does too, so that might be a good idea to try and You know what? I think that'll kill, so let's get meter instead. Alright. Nice. I really like Kichi Hogan's animations. They're great. Alright, and... Serenity here. 
Excited for Serenity's costume, too. It's cute. That's coming up. I think that's one of the next events, right? The Grail Live? I'm very excited for that, because that's a fun idea. Alright, get some stuff here. Okay. So who, who do we got? Who's with the plushies? Is it Vlad? No, Fluffy Collector. She's got healing going. That's not fun. Um, let's see here. Can we... This, what is this? Stun success rate is hide. Okay, well, we're not... We're not... Cool. None of those works for us. None of those works for us. Uh... We got a full combo with you. So let's go with that on you. And let's just start with one, two, three. Okay. Dang, their meter gain is so bad. Why are assassins like this? I did a lot, actually. Oh, jeez. Yeah, okay. We're going to need to gain as much meter as possible. You know what? I'm going to pop that on you. And we still don't have enough. Okay, let's go. One, two, three. Gain as much as we can. Because I want to try and get Serenity super there. Okay, that's enough to gain with the thing. Okay. Alright. Yeah, we're going to need to literally burst damage on you. Okay. All right. All right, let's go one, two. Whoop. Gotta be careful. Gotta be careful. Uh, yes, because you have green down. Yeah, let's do this. Come on, Smoochie. Oh boy, Smoochie time. Look. Smoochie. How much that do? A good amount. Will this kill? Should. Yeah. Nice. Good damage. Will we even get to summon Jekyll? I don't think so. I mean, I could try. I could do it like this. I could go one, two, three. All right. Let's let's give it a let's let's have fun. We we even have a full combo, so let's go. So let's see. I'm gonna I'm gonna do an experiment. If I pop this, will it activate? Okay, no. It specifically says no effect. Okay. Let you go to this for a full combo. Okay. Dangerous game. What an interesting servant that is a cool idea. That is not viable, you know? <laughs> Max HP up, Buster up. You get, you keep your cards, right? You do, you're not, I'm not gonna end? Good. Again, it's a cool idea. Just a shame it's kind of underbaked. I feel like they could do something with this, you know? So let's try stun. Good. And let's go. One, two, three. He's not bad. He's just undercooked. My man needs more time in the oven. Right? Especially because then if you use the Noble Phantasm again, uh, he, he, isn't it that he can't use it? It's stupid. There should be something you can do with that, right? What a weird... What a weird servant... And for it to be so early, it's like... I like it, but it's weird. Hey, 15. Sounds good. Pancake Infinity. <laughs> Females only. Okay. Don't mind if I do... Now, these are difficult. So, you know what? These ones, this is where we will use our... Are uh, goyles that are quite powerful. So let's see here. 
Um, do we? I was going to say we should, honestly. We have these. So let's use... Yep. Yeah. And uh, so those two will be very good. And um, we'll grab maybe one who can use the four star. Let's see here. Who would be good? I'm trying to think of anyone who has like anti-berserker or something. Or we can get healing going. Healing would work too, sure. Healing might be good, so let's go with that. Okay. Alright. Let's give this a shot. Even though Irie is probably gonna super die. Mundo death. Let's see here. Okay. Three battles. Fluffy whipped cream. Okay. Let's go one. Two. Eh, let's do this. We'll make sure that this guy dies because he has a thing on him. Oh. I was getting debuffs. I'm hitting them. Okay, I see. I should have looked at that. Decrease C star drop rate? Okay, that's whatever. Yeah, that's whatever. I'm not worried about that. Like, I'm, I'm not going to be getting crits with them much to begin with, you know? It'd be cool if I had a servant who got more powerful the more debuffs they had. That would be very cool for this, but uh, alas, I do not. Alright, let's do this. All right. And we got more, more of the same. Oh, we got, we got, we got biscuits. Decreased defense for an enemy when attacked. Now that's a bit scarier. That's a little bit scarier. Uh, so we'll do some of this here. Let's see here. Yes. And is it only one? Oh, wait. I wonder if it's only one. Hmm. Let's do some of this. Gain the meter. Okay. Flap. Flap. A little one inch punch. Uh, let's go one, two, three. Then just keep getting meter. Okay. Please don't hit Abby. She will hurt. Thank you. Um, and let's just finish this with... One, two, three. There we go. Okay, and we got all our drop rates back, so we should be good. What do we have? Oh! The infinite pancake! I was expecting this from the Kekion place. Restore HP, demerit, and inflict poison. Very strange. I may... Now I could do a full combo with you. Right? Inflict fear, increase attack, gain C stars. Yeah, let's... <laughs> Let's be silly. Alright, we'll pop this, and then we'll use the curses for a full combo. We'll see how much this does. Let's see. I'm very happy I summoned Van Gogh. I really am. She's really good. Okay, and these crit ups should do a lot. Yep. Yeah, it does heal when she attacks. What a great thing specifically for her. Nice. Okay. 
Oof. Nice. Okay, let's like... One, two, three, because we're only going to be able to kill one. Never. Oh, we could have almost killed another, though. Okay. I didn't think her crit would be that much. Finish her off. I would really also like... I feel like every servant who's like, like Irie, right? Or any of those. I would love for them to all get casual costumes. We need another event that is just like... Like how the Grey Alive gave all the girls like these formal costumes, or the Glasses event gave all them glasses. I just want to get just casual costumes for a lot of them. They're so good. They're so good. Mana Prisms. Shopping offered... Shop offering increased points. Okay. Uh, honestly, I'm just about... I'm a, I feel like I'm just about approaching the edge of being done for today just because I'm going to run out of steam for this literal physical steam so I, I don't mind using some more strong servants here just to get just to get things going um let's see I can go with yeah and yeah I'll just pick some pick some strong ones just to get these going. Yeah, okay, there we go. Alright. Let's see. What we got here? More berserkers, but easier ones. Okay. Kisama. Let's go. One, two, three. Okay. And, uh, sure. Go sicko mode, buddy. Do it. Become the melty. Good stuff. Okay, and uh, I mean, at this, I, this is such a nothing thing. Let's save points. Let's do this. And let's finish you off. Just with as much damage as possible. Good. All right. And we are going on to the next one. Yeah, we'll get to 20, I feel. Seems like they sell the latest novels. How nice. I wish I could read Japanese. We'll go with you. Again, I'm going to start using my five stars just to... Again, because I'm taking a break after this. I might as well. Um, I will use a four star here. Let's see. Not eligible. Why not? Oh, because there. Yeah. yeah. Let's go with... Uh, uh, sure, Chloe. I still find it funny. Some people are really against the name Chloe because they're like, uh, her name is Kuro, not Chloe. It's fine. It's a it's a cute thing because Kuro isn't really a name, but Chloe is. And especially because the Einsburns are like super not really Japanese. Um, it makes more sense for her to really not have a Japanese name, right? I feel that makes sense. Ilya is not a Japanese name, right? Uh, her name is Ilya Seville von Einsburn. Come on, right? 
I got reincarnated as a hermit crab. What does an or a scissor mean? Like ore is in I am? I am a scissor? I don't know. That might be a thing that I don't recognize. Like ore wa gandamu? God, I had a friend in school who would just, he would quote that all the time because he thought it was cringe cool to say I am Gundam. Okay, so. Uh, bop, bop, bop. Do your thing, Chloe. Pa, 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 pa. Look at her go. I'll say you can tell a lot about the ways that Fate Servants used to be animated versus how they are now. Is it used to be a lot more like, okay, I'm just going to do a bunch of very fast attacks that kind of all blur together. Whereas it feels modern Fate animation design is more this idea of like every attack should be way more keyframed. Every attack should be like a separate special, if you will. It is a just a different style, right? It's not, you know, you do a full combo and they go sicko mode, like, you know, like that, where they just blend into each other. Like, it feels like nowadays you get the animations and instead it's more along the lines of like, here is one set of, you know, pre-canned animations and then we move on to another set of pre-canned animations and then we move on to, right? And it is, it's different. Different isn't better or worse, but it is different, right? Good. So. Selling pen lights, which I hear that term all the time. Do I know what a pen light is? Not really. It's one of those things that I feels like a trapper keeper and really separates the olds and the news. We'll go with the Reese. And, uh. Sure. All right, again, we're just kind of doing them all. Cool, cool, cool. Let's see. Reese time. Pen light holder. I'm gonna Google it. What the frick is a pen light? What is it? It's okay. It's literally a pen that's a light. I guess I should have seen that coming. Sure. Is that a thing that is sold for anime products? I don't... I'm going to type in anime pen light. Oh, is that also what we call... Oh, that's also... Oh, that's also what they call the idol sticks. Okay. That makes more sense. Okay. Okay. Does Arash have one that gives her meter? I always forget. Doesn't matter. We can give her the meter here. We can just go with... Bop. 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 Right, she does have one that does. Uh, but that's fine. We'll use this to finish things off. Do your cool stuff. Wow, I am shocked that I didn't win. I guess that's what happens when you don't have the bonus, huh? Okay. And... Bup, bup, bup. Good. Okay. I'm running out of steam. I don't know if you can tell. I'm just literally starting to go through the motions and I'm only on about 20. Jeez. Well. Okay. It's fine. This will be, we'll do this. We'll do the story. Then that will be it. Ooh, fighting game specialty shop. I want to go there. 
an internet cafe. What a cute concept. Uh, you, we haven't used you much. And, uh, we'll go with you. And, uh, there we go. You guys should be able to rip and tear through there. Let's see what we got. Ooh. I mean, it is still nice and, like, relaxing to just chill out with this. But at the same time, I know it's probably not the most interesting entertainment. But hey, it is what it is. Let's do some of this. Can't find the next volume. Snores too loud. I could not imagine falling asleep in a internet cafe. I know they have like little cubicles and that's kind of the point. I don't know. I don't feel super comfortable being there, right? I feel like, like, I mean, it's not like I'm, I'd be uncomfortable there, but I just wouldn't feel comfortable enough to sleep, right? Like I could hang out there and use the internet. I mean, I'd prefer to use it at my place, but I know that's not kind of the purpose. Um, I mean, like, like the idea of renting the manga that's all there, that I really like. It's just the whole thing about sleeping there that I'm like, mm, I don't know about that. I don't know if I could do that. I know it's kind of like the dream to just, you know, sleep and chill in a manga cafe, but I don't know. It ain't, it ain't for me. It ain't my life. All right. What do we have? Online games all day. 200, nice. Let's go one, two, three. All right. Start by doing the big stabby. How much we gonna do? A decent chunk. It's not bad, it's not bad at all. For someone who can just pop it and instantly get it, that's not bad. Take a look at this, V. Okay, and how much? Okay, you're still there. Okay. We can finish with, uh, very fitting, you know, all the tales. Finishing it off in a way where it's like, yeah, 1001 Nights off Lila with Lila. We can, uh, have a, have, a, have a big rest. There's a lot of unique designs for this that I feel like don't get use. I feel like they should have had as part of, like, a story learning about what all those things... I mean, I guess it makes sense they're just from the Arabian Tales, so, like, they do have a an origin... Are those almost like ploy kickshaws? Also, hello, three Saint Quartz. Don't mind if I do. Um, are those they're they're almost like ploy kickshaws in terms of the the origin of them being from stories, right? Similar, not exact. Very interesting. Hmm. Just something something to consider. Alright. Records of computer game duels. What do we got? Finally, more story. Yo, the arcade! Three on three team battle, four to five. This looks like the actual, like, arcade where I played Grand Order Arcade quite a bit. And so... We arrived at this arcade after hearing there's an event where we can get a Kuso ton of points. <laughs> That's strong. Video game tournament, huh? I'm afraid I don't see much appeal to figures inside a screen, so I don't think I can be of much help. Don't worry, I've got this. Since the three on three game, I've already called in the perfect reinforcements. Okay, Tomoe and Waver. Let's see. Queue up gamer classes. Whoa, interesting. I am here to help. My understanding is that my skills with video games will actually be of help to you now, Master. As surprising as it was to learn that, my mission remains unchanged. I will mow down opponents on the other side of the screen with the same fervor I used to defeat enemies. IRL. <laughs> 
Rest assured, Master, I will not let you down. That being said, this is my first time visiting an arcade, so there may be some aspects with which I'm not familiar. But I promise you that video game skills I honed in Kaldia's rec room will help us lead us to victory all the same. I'm mostly into online games, so I'm not really thrilled about playing in person like this. Don't get me wrong, Akiba's totally my kind of town, but it's still outside, you know? I'd much prefer to stay indoors and venture out here. Isn't that this is case for you too, Princess? Quit your whining, Sergeant Gachan! Sure, I've never taken part in a tournament like this before either. But if shut-ins like us can't show what we're made of here, where can we? Or do you want this event to end only to have everyone be like, Say, where was the Otaku crew during all this? If they were going to show up anywhere, I would have thought it'd be an Akihabara. Yeah, good point. In fact, thinking about it now, if I play my cards right, I could totally spin this to my advantage. The next time Mama gives me grief about doing nothing but playing video games, I can just tell her I long ago foresaw that these specific skills would be what saved us, and I've just been training. Then she could cut me some slack. Not sure that's gonna work as well as she thinks. It looks like the term is about to start. Good luck, Osaka Bihime, Tomoe, and Ganesha. I wish you luck as well. If it would help, I'd be glad to carve you a good luck totem. I'm curious to see what you would make, but no, no, it's okay. I do appreciate the thought, though. Okay, here goes nothing. Are they just doing, like, a Cuso Grande? Are they, is it just, like, a random game? Like, what is it? What game is it? It's, I bet you it's Grand Order Arcade. That'd be hilarious. I do not know much about games of this nature, but I, of course, have an eye for the tides of battle. And unfortunately, it seems the tide for this one is against us. Am I wrong? No, I don't think you are. Anxious. Hang in there, guys. Uh, it's a racing game, maybe? It looks like a racing game, perhaps? I don't know. Ah, I'm used to being the only girl in a group of geeks, so I've had experience with this kind of attention, but... I knew it. This truly is a beast of a different nature. Those men standing behind the game cabinet are staring at me so intently, and in a manner with which I am thoroughly unaccustomed. I can sense myriad feelings behind those gaze. Interest, contempt, anxiety, curiosity, derision, and hopefulness. Truly, this is unlike any battle which I've participated. I am not sure what to make of it. Tamachi is so nervous that she's, she's only operating at about 80% her usual skill level. And as for Gachan, her face is frozen in place. Crap, 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 our main stays so nervous that she's down to less than half her usual skill level. We made it to halftime, but we're going to need a major push in the second half if we were to win. Are they playing NFL? I'm sorry, guys. I really am. You know, I didn't think I was going to freeze up that much out there. I'm telling you, no shut-in should have to endure so many eyes on her at once. You can win all you like later. Right now, we need to figure out how we can play at our usual level. Perhaps I could try General Sahi methods of inspiration. It involves me slapping you on the back as hard as I can. No, no gym class stuff, anything but that. I want to be indulged, not punished. I wish I could play for my Kotatsu while hiding away from all those guys staring at me. Wait, wait, that might be it. Gotcha, and what if you played inside your statue thing? Well, that'd help, right? Well, yeah, sure, but how can I operate the joystick and buttons and stuff from in there? Don't worry about that. Just uh, try getting in and seeing how it feels. Uh, next, Galatea. Yes? You're a super statue expert, right? Do you think you can modify this one? Hmm. Yes, I think so. Yasha! This is it. Or really, it's our only option. Okay then, go for it. Galte and please hurry. We only have a few more minutes left. Now, wait, you do know that technically this statue is made with divine power and all, right? That won't be a problem. My chisel is also imbued with divine power. Uh, no, I didn't mean it like that. I mean, more like it's supposed to be uh, respected. Try not to move. I'm going to modify it with joints, so you'll be able to move about more freely. Yeah, could you at least wait until I got out? Oh my god, the elfin statue can move now. Done. Huh? Hmm? Whoa, I should be able to operate the controls from in here now. Huh? What's this thing do? Click. Oh my god. RGB LEDs? <laughs> what the? <laughs> I found some LEDs lying around, so I tried wiring them up as well. I can see why this is called an electric town. Wow, well, that's just like her own gaming PC now. <laughs> I kind of wish you asked me before outfitting my statue with this kind of stuff, but I'm not going to worry about it for now. Indeed. Huh? You put on your VR gear? 
Yes, Master, I'm taking a page from Lady Ganesha's playbook. By limiting my field of vision, I'll be better able to focus on the game right in front of me. The manner in which that the outside attention had distracted me shows I have a long way to go, but for now, this is the best I can do to overcome the challenge at hand. All right, let's turn this thing around. I love, I love how silly this is. It's great. So we got statue, we got VR, we got body. Body is a baddie. Am I right? All right, let's see what we got. Opponent image, leave the defending, leave the support to the princess. Leave. That's really cool. They're actually focused on stuff. I like that. So we could be like, yeah, defend. That's cool. That's cool. It's almost like they're actually playing Grand Order Arcade, where you have those specific roles, you know? Okay. Good defense. Good defense. Alright, so let's go one, two, three to gain meter. Okay. No, stop hitting her. Can't see here. Um. Hmm. Hmm. So this gives stuff for all allies. Yeah. Good. We got that with you. So we can do Ganesha Crash. Right? I don't think there's... Yeah, you're not effective against everyone. So let's just get rid of you. Let's try. Pop the fence down. Right, get rid of you. We'll go Ganesha Impact, which is a reference to Genshin Impact, which is so funny. I just, it's really silly. Uh, yeah, we'll gain meter with everyone here. I forgot it attacks everyone. Who is who's the voice of uh, of Ganesha there? Because it sounds familiar. It definitely sounds familiar. That is Aoyuki, okay? Because it sounds specifically like the voice she did for the "So I'm a Spider, So What" anime, which is an incredible show, by the way. It's but it's almost identical sounding. So we'll do this, we'll do this, and we'll do this. It does sound very similar to that. But what a what a voice to, to go for, you know? In uh, very similar personalities, the characters. Alright. I love it's so funny. It's like such a long Japanese name. It's like it's just Beat Saber. Just call it Beat Saber. <laughs> It's so good. Did we just win? Is that it? Wow, dang, okay. Good stuff, good stuff. We're nearly close to leveling up. Haven't had that happen in a while. Yeah. Yatta! Look at them, they're so happy. Eh, that was close. It was by no means an easy victory, but victory's ours. I dedicate this triumph to you, Master. That's right. We won. Wasn't I super amazing out there, Machan? Come on. Come on, say it. Uh, is there anything you'd like to do to celebrate? Huh, well, since you're asked, would you mind patting my head? It's fine, but are you sure that's all you want? I'm sure. Now go on, give it a shot. Okay. Great job out there, Batty. Pat, Pat. Oh, oh, jeez. Oh, 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 jeez. Oh, this is, this is not, this is really nice, but I, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm still not ready for that kind of thing. Oh, my God. Oh, man. I thought my cocker was going to burst. And I must thank you as well, Lady Galatea. We could not have won without your help. Thank you, but I did very little. It was already an excellent model to begin with. I've never had the pleasure of working on such a plump, lazy, lucky statue before. I learned a lot from it. 
Are plump and lazy supposed to be compliments? Yeah, whatever. Anyway, these mods should wear off eventually once my spirit origin repairs itself, right? Why are you cocking your head like that? Ah, uh, you patch these lights into the AC controls. Uh, I can't turn these things off, make them stop. I don't want to be a gaming statue forever. <laughs> Galatea did eventually put Ganesha's statue back to normal. I'm smiling so much because it's so silly and I love it. I love events. I know there's people who are like, oh, these events are so silly. They don't matter, but it's just funny. Why can't we have the funny times? Not everything has to be plot, bro. We're back in the hobby shop. Meanwhile. <sighs> Something wrong, Xuan Sang San Zhang? You've been staring at that shelf of figures for a while now. Oh, hi, El Malloy. I just happened to notice something interesting about these. See their names? Yeah, I see Indra, Bishoman Ten, and the names of some Buddhist and other gods. What about them? I could not but notice they're all girls. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, is fate calling the kettle black? Oh, I don't know why that is. I'm hardly an expert on the subject, but I've heard this thing happens a lot in certain Japanese subcultures. Those figures are probably from various media properties, though I don't know whether they're anime or game related. So, do you ask because as a Buddhist priest, you have a strong opinion about such depictions of your god? This is buck wild. Definitely. They're awesome. Uh, really? As far as I'm concerned, all that matters is that they're made with passion. So yeah, these figures are all totally valid expressions of faith. It's a sad but undeniable fact of life that when humans forget a supernatural being's name, it tends to be the first step to no longer believing or worshipping that being either. Compared to that, making the Buddha into a girl is no big deal at all. The important thing is that people like these figures are uh, like these figures so much they want to keep them nearby and look at them whenever they feel like. And that's exactly the passion I sense in these. I don't think the uh, passion that went into these figures has much to do with faith. Yep, this is all great. I feel beyond compelled to pray here on the spot. I bought the one you were looking for, teacher. Oh, sorry, am I interrupting? Oh no, please don't worry about me. I was just passing through. Besides, I'm in a much I'm in a good mood now that I uh that now that I think I'm gonna go look for more of these Buddha statues like these. Later guys, may the Buddhist protection be with you. So these figurines with the Buddhist god's names got the seal of approval from Kaldia's local high priest. Apparently any statue named for a Buddhist god may be a symbol of faith, regardless of the form it takes. The logic does hold up, but uh still, hmm. Teacher, are you sure I'm not interrupting? Not at all. I was just thinking up a new assignment. Anyway, let's see what you got. Oh, no, this won't work. I'm sorry, I should have been more specific. Uh, what's wrong with it? It's got Admirable Warfare in the title, and I was told it's the newest one in the series. Uh, not, uh, Eleven. Fun fact! I am literally right now wearing, I found, and this is the dumbest, coolest thing. I found a shop that had custom Admirable Prince shirts in the exact style that uh, was worn by, you know, uh, Iskandar in Fate Zero. I'm wearing it right now. So I didn't think it would be that. Yes, it's all correct. However, the newest entry in the series isn't necessarily the best one. In particular case, there was some sort of uh, developer shuffle between releases due to a bunch of administrative cock-ups, and the new team changed all the systems that everyone loved in 10, which ended up ruining the game's balance and effing it up beyond all recognition. Wow, they're even putting in the fact that he has a naughty mouth, because that's a thing in Strange Fake we're seeing. Whoa, please watch your language, teacher. This is a family store. Sorry, I didn't mean to get so worked up. Anyway, don't bother with that one. If you really want to study strategy and geography all at once, then I'd recommend 10, the previous game in the seer- He just like me for real. Hmm? Did anyone else just hear someone swearing? If we did, it couldn't have been our sister, so it's not our problem. <laughs> now, have you- <laughs> what, what was that transition? Have you decided what you want? We only have enough money for one game, so we need to make a convincing case for your given choice. Oh, I'll start. I want to get this one. You can't go wrong with a modern-day school setting. It's a classic for a reason, right? Let's see. The protagonist transfers to a new school where her classmates include a prince, a CEO, a baron, a mafia boss, and other memorable characters. Hmm. I thought a fantasy setting would be nice, so I chose this. A magic Academy where the protagonist has five senior classmen, each of whom have mastered different magical elements, where sparks begin to fly as she studies under each of them. I see. What about you, Thrude? I chose one with a historical setting. In fact, it's set in the Age of Myth. 
In this one, an apprentice Valkyrie encounters a number of different warriors, and from there... I don't know, don't you think that might be a little too real for us? Uh-huh, uh-huh. But I thought that's what would make it perfect for learning about romance. You need to expand your imagination. True learning comes from venturing into the unknown. Hmm... They do be talking. <sighs> huff, huff. I knew this would happen. I knew it. We're all the same being after all. Deep down, none of us want to discard any of these choices. Then what do we do? How are we supposed to only pick one? There's one solution. I'll release the seal on the top secret nest egg we've been saving for emergencies and change the base rule to one game per Valkyrie. Well, that's going to be great until there's six of them. Ooh, golden! It's the most golden damn store I've ever seen. Nothing but golden-looking goodies, as far as the eye can see. Isn't it great, Brother Suna? I was told we could purchase toys here, but I haven't seen any bamboo stilts or spinning tops. Oh, those? Well, I bet we could get some around here if we just kept looking. Oh, what are these? Sample toys we could play with? Well, that's even more golden! Damn, they got some crazy stuff these days. Check out this glowing sword! Oh, is that the Light of Evil's Bane? That would certainly be effective against many kinds of monsters, though the blade itself seems far too dull to be deadly. He makes these great sounds too, listen! That could be ideal for women and children to use for self-defense. Many freeze up when confronted with monsters to the point where they can't even call for help after all. Whoa, check out this rad belt! Let's try this bad boy on and oh yeah, golden baby! Jabba Doobie touched a henshin! Hell yeah, ain't nothing more golden than a transforming with a belt. Even when it's just a toy, can't help but get fired up. If you say so, all I can say is that you and I are very, very different down to our spirit origins. You think? Yeah, it's probably just because I materialized a little longer than you have, bro. You'll get the hang of it. What was that? I'll be right back. I gotta go check this aisle out. And hey, don't be afraid to look around for something you like, bro, whatever you want. That's my treat. Let's see, first he put it around his waist, and I think he went like this. Probably some joke about, like, Suna's voice actor being a tension thing or something. I guess it didn't work. Pity. What the hell? Oh, that'd be wild, seeing him put on the henshin belt and give that a try. That'd be insane. All right, so that is 20 stores done. And we get our no strings. Nice. No strings. Buster up, crit up, sea stars. Her bewitching appearance can make one uh, quiver. Her bewitching and divine beautiful appearance, bewitching and divine beauty can take one's breath away. Yet, you'll never be able to tug at her heartstrings to make her your own, no matter how much you try and turn over your overwhelming feelings, something tangible to make your own. Her hair is more lustrous than satin, her eyes more dazzling than crystal, her lips lovelier than cherry blossoms, yet she will never yield because she is not just a mute doll. That aside, that outfit is quite embarrassing. It really suits you. I see no problem with this, if you say so. Not into the gothic Lolita stuff, personally. It's kind of where I draw the line, but, uh, it is a thing. Yo, the arcade! Let's drop people off at the arcade. Do gamer class servants get a bonus there? Let's see. Uh, oh yeah, okay, maybe not, because I would not call you a gamer. Um, We'll throw in Spishtar. Spishtar Gaming. All right, we're gonna call it here. Um, I will, I mean, like I said, we'll definitely be doing as much of the story as possible, um, to show off the main one. For the second part, probably not, because that is a lot. Um, so yes, we will see you guys next time for some more Let's Play Fate Grand Order as we, uh, continue on through the event here. Thank you all for watching, we'll see you then. Ciao!